Do you ever find your hands, arms, or neck tired and sore after playing the violin, even just for short periods of time? Well, this is because of a little thing called tension. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about why tension is so detrimental to your playing and how you can be free of it once and for all. Hi, I'm Lauren, a professional violinist and fiddle player living in Nashville, Tennessee, and I help thousands of people achieve their violin and fiddle goals. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. We'd love to have you here. Now, let's talk about tension. For many of us, it's a natural tendency to tense up when holding an unfamiliar object or performing a new skill, and the violin is no exception. But tension is not only harmful to our bodies, it can translate to our playing as well, resulting in an unpleasant, harsh tone. So let's start with the neck and shoulders and work our way down. If you consistently find your neck and shoulders to be tight after playing, what you first wanna do is check your posture to make sure that everything is set up correctly. If everything looks good with your posture but you're still experiencing tightness, one thing you can try is taking your violin down off of your shoulder and bringing both of your shoulders up to your ears, squeezing them up as high as you can go, and then releasing with a big exhale and just dropping both of the shoulders, releasing all of the tension along with it. And you can do that a few times, just bringing your shoulders up to your ears, really squeezing them in, and then whoosh, releasing with an exhale to just drop everything down and ensure that your shoulders and neck muscles are all completely relaxed. And from there, what you would do is you would take your violin, go back into playing position, and just make sure that your shoulder isn't lifting at all as you set your violin down. Just make sure that it's staying nice and lowered and relaxed and that you're using the weight of your head to keep your violin in place. Now, moving on to the hands. If you're noticing that your hands are feeling tired, especially along the inside of the palm where the thumb attaches to the rest of the hand, that can be a sign that you are holding onto a lot of tension in your hands while playing, whether that is your bow hold or your left hand setup, or maybe even both. And again, what we wanna check first here is our setup, just to make sure that everything is in its proper place so that you have the right bow hold and that your left hand is set up as it should be on the neck. If you've checked to make sure that everything looks good and you're still noticing that your muscles are feeling tired after playing, that could be a sign that you're still holding onto tension and that your hands are tight as you play. So in order to help combat some of that, what you can do with the left hand is while you are in playing position, go ahead and just take your right hand, make sure that it's free of your bow, and just simply place your hand on top of your other hand just on top of your fingers, maybe even touch your thumb. And this just sort of gently reminds the muscles to relax and release and to make sure that you're not squeezing the neck or doing anything that would cause unnecessary tension in those hand muscles. And you can do the same thing with your right hand if you're noticing that you're holding onto a lot of tension or you tend to grip your bow pretty hard, is just bringing your left hand over and just simply touching your hand, just placing it on top of your other hand, and just again, reminding those muscles to soften, your knuckles, your thumb, your fingers, just reminding everything to soften and become more relaxed. So now you have a better idea of why tension is so detrimental to your playing and a couple of things that you can do in order to help overcome it and prevent it as well. And remember, your playing can only improve by reducing the tension that you're holding in your body. So it's definitely a good goal to work toward if it's something you struggle with. And if you'd like more on this topic, check out my video called Three Stretches You Need to Know as a Violinist to learn more about how to alleviate tension and bring some relief to your sore muscles. Well, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Happy practicing.